Wow, well, you know, Corey, it seems like you're uh, you're starting to live a, a healthier daily lifestyle now that because of your condition, it's making you become more healthier or health conscious and you want to be more healthier mentally, physically, spiritually. And how does that work out with you spiritually now too? Are you more in tune with your spirituality, with God or any, you know, are you more more spiritual now that you taking this new path because of your condition or how does that work? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. You, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I feel yes. a hundred percent more spiritual. Okay. I think this is all a part of God's plan for me Good. Yeah. because this helped me turn some pages in the Bible, man. I was so desperate for yeah. help. You know, I, I, I'm a born again Christian, but Good. you know, like I, I partied and I just, I walked away from living out God's plan and living out God's teachings. You know, I always said, I'm a believer, I'm a believer, but I, I wasn't acting like a real believer. You know, I wasn't setting a good example for other Christians and other people. Like, I mm -hmm. was living a double life, and, you know, like Jesus says, like, you know, don't live out the world. Like, he wants us to live for God, like that's for him, and and yeah. I feel that I was struggling so much. Like I told you, like I yeah. was feeling insecure about my appearance, and I would eat, and I would suffer. And there were days where I had to call in sick for work, and there were days where I'd experience the die-off effects of the candida, which was which can be heavy depression, fever, mm -hmm. you know, migraine. It, it just really it takes a toll on your body, that's for sure. So right. I um, I was praying and I was just saying to myself, God, show me there's light at the end of the tunnel. Show me there's light at the end of the tunnel because yeah. I there were days where I really just felt victimized by the whole situation. And I, I always reminded myself like this, I'm not a victim, I'm not a victim. Like, I'm going through this for a reason. This is an experiment. Mm -hmm. And every small choice I make each day, uh, with every small choice I make, I am seeing improvement. So I know that what I'm doing is right, and maybe one day I'll be able to help somebody else yeah. who's struggling with the same problem, you know? Exactly. And God might know that. So yeah. I... Um, been going through a spiritual cleanse <laughs> so That's yeah so when you quit drinking you know your friends don't call you every friday night anymore you kind of <laughs> end up feeling like you're just a little bit of a i don't want to i don't want to say an old lady <laughs> you know ladies still party <laughs> I'm a hermit i guess like you you just make more time for you and you see everyone else is like getting ready and going out and eating their, you know, pizza and drinking their wine and you're like, oh man, like those are good days, but <laughs> I I feel a lot better like just being in my pajamas and, and reading a book or even like reading the Bible and I'm not ashamed of my belief. Like I, I really do feel God's presence in my life. I feel like I have a relationship with God. Good, yeah. I, I feel like, I feel 100% that that Jesus has been looking out for me this entire process, you know, just from me praying and just really asking God for for signs and to bring better people in my life or absolutely to help me get through, you know, like quitting sugar, like all of the. I had to practice self discipline in all aspects of my life, and 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 yeah, God helps me with that. You know what, you, uh, I'm glad you, you said that because um, when you steer off the path and, you know, no, no one's perfect. Like everybody, as soon as you're born, you're not, you're not perfect. You're, you're going to be fallible. You're a human being. We're all going to make mistakes, every single one of us. And, and for those of who says they're perfect, don't be aware for those kind of people. But now that you know, like, like I said, like I've been there and back many times over and trials and tribulations of my life and everybody everybody goes through it and it, once you build a relationship with with God and that's all that matters you don't have to be a preacher or a priest it's your relationship with God and he 
does the rest. You're never going to be perfect still. You just keep following the steps with you just reading the Bible, getting back to God, learning you are in the right path. And it seems to me that you are growing up. 